um, if you want to turn your camera off, go ahead. Um, welcome to Grove Orchestra. Welcome back. Your, your students are eighth graders, um, and most of your students I have taught since they were in sixth grade. So it's just been a crazy, wild, fun ride. Um, and I'm, I'm just so glad that they are back this year, despite all the circumstances. Um, and we're going to make the most of it. So your child's class meets uh, fourth period, which is on B days. Um, they've had very great attendance so far, so it's really been nice seeing them uh, and navigating the waters together with them. This syllabus will be shared with you on, uh, in the weekly updates. So these are all clickable links, um, and those should bring you to uh, all the different pages. So I'm not gonna read through that right now. Uh, just a little bit about me. Um, you know, we've all met before, most of us have met before. This is my 12th year at Grove. So it's just the time goes so fast. It feels like just yesterday I was uh, starting. Um, and my main instrument is violin, which I started in the fourth grade. And really it's just my goal to help your students be the best musicians they can be. They already shared with me um, some of the goals that they wanted to do this year. They mentioned wanting to learn vibrato, uh, playing faster, um, and, and there's a list of other things I have on my desk. Uh, and so I'm really, really just hoping to help them meet their goals and to grow in their musicianship. My contact information email is easily the best way to reach me. Um, currently, my office is in the band room, and so I don't have a phone in, my, uh, in the band room. So you can call, you can leave a voicemail, but I do not check it very frequently. Um, so email is the best. Um, all this will be shared with you. Uh, Ms. Galani will be joining us this year. Um, she's going to tell you a little bit about herself. Um, so go ahead and take it away. Hi, I'm Ms. Galani. Um, you can also call me Ms. G. Um, I've been in District 59 for two years now and I've absolutely loved it. Um, my first instrument was actually the trumpet, but I've really enjoyed teaching strings. Um, and I'm, uh, I want to just help your students be successful in their music making however I can. Here we go. Um, my contact information, the best way to email or get to me is by email. I don't have a direct phone line. So if you do need to chat over the phone, uh, sending me a quick email message and we can uh, set up a time that way would be good. We'll also have office hours, which I'm available um, either in the morning or in the afternoon and that's gonna be shared with you as well. And just a side note, I'm really excited to have Ms. Galani on board. It's been really great to be able to collaborate and co-teach together. Uh, for those of you who don't know her, she normally teaches fifth grade orchestra, um, but is joining us for the time being. So unnecessary uh, materials. Your students should have all of these things listed here. I'm not going to read through it, but I do want to uh, bring your attention to the playing space setup. So um, maybe in the past your student has a great place to practice. That's wonderful. You want to make sure that because your child's home is your, their classroom, that they have a great place to play that is just theirs. So some infographics will be shared at the end of this presentation to kind of give you some ideas on how to set up the playing space. Additionally, we'll be using smart music on their Chromebooks. So all students should have taken the time to sign up for that. Instrument accessories. If your child is missing any of these, rosin, folding music stand, et cetera, uh, there are links on where you can purchase them. I highly recommend that students have the Tonal Energy app um, on their phone. It's, I think, $3.99. There's also free ones out there, but that one's a particularly good one. I know some students have them already. And I want to bring your attention to the practice mute. This is great for quiet practice, um, especially if people are in meetings or uh, in other classes and orchestras going on. Uh, practice mute is a really, really great thing for your child to be able to play and not bother people. We will still play in this class. It is a performance-based class. Uh, we've been doing some listening at the beginning of each uh, class period, but we're gonna keep playing. Typically, your uh, students will meet for two days every week. Um, typically, every other week, they'll meet for three days. On the off days, uh, the, they should be practicing. Grading, this is something obviously that's a little different this year given our, uh, the nature of our learning. 70% of their grade will be formative, which are gonna be assignments that we do in class, reflections, and just progress, checking your child's progress throughout the way. Summative, which uh, I know is another term your students know, is gonna be about playing grades, playing tests, that sort of thing. So that's more of the, the final. I always like to say though, if your students feel like they can do better, I always encourage them to do better. 
a drop-in tuning hours. Every week we're going to have drop-in tuning or drive-by tuning hours uh, outside of door 15, which if you're familiar with Grove, it's outside of the Ridge, uh, it's right by Ridge Avenue. It'll be from Mondays from 1.50 p.m. to 2.50 p.m. and Thursdays from 8 to 8.45 a.m. And so I'll just be hanging out there. Um, so please feel free to, um, hold on a second. Oh, um, I got a chat thing. Uh, uh, I'll go back to that in a second, uh, Mr. Salgado. Um, there will be drop-in tuning repair, and that will be 150 to 250. If you can't make those times, I recommend calling the music store. Uh, the practice mute is something, uh, I can send you a video later or a, a picture. It's something that goes onto your student's instrument. It's like a, a little piece of rubber that makes it be quiet. So that's what that is. Um, the remote musician, there are some really great things that you can do to create a safe and nurturing environment for your child as they are playing at home. I know playing at home and playing by family can be, um, you know, students can be a little self-conscious about that, but here are some things that you can do to help nurture their love uh, of music and help them thrive. And here is a couple of pictures just about creating a great work and learning environment, um, having a dedicated space, having a great chair to sit in, that kind of thing. So um, read through these at your own leisure, but I thought these are great infographics. There will be a form that you can fill out on this, um, on this slideshow um, if you have any questions. And that's about it. So that being said, it is that time. Uh, hopefully you don't get lost on your way to your next class. Um, thank you so much for spending your evening with us. Really appreciate it, appreciate your support. And I look forward and hope to see you all in person sooner than later. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you.